think till now any doubts from here up to this today we'll complete total this engine gmo kinematics and assembly then next we'll go for gear okay any doubts here no what's the remaining Okay. Okay. Other than here, any any anything else like uh, in Katia or else in the previous class? Okay, first of all, we'll complete this total engine. Okay. Now, have anyone tried yesterday in your own or not? No one practiced. Huh? Okay. Now. what you have to do the next the first first one is completed okay now we'll go for the next okay for this again call which one call connecting rods okay go for assembly now which one is the next next one is here okay now just click on that existing component now in call connecting rod assembly so what you have to do here so anyone send message coincidence okay now coincidence this one with the slow run then update now Think here we are given five mm. Now next is offset. From this face. That's all. Zero. Sorry, not zero. It's five. Then update. <clears throat> Then what next? Call another one.
follow the same process. Now, do one thing first, move this one. Okay. Now, offset this face. How much? Five. Now, what next? Rotate here, okay? Now, go for Manipulation tab, select access, like this middle one. Yeah. yeah. Centrally. Okay, now call wait Okay, now call your piston pinner assembly. Where it is called? Yeah, okay. first co <coughs> coincidence this one with. Okay, now next. <coughs> next, what I'll do here. No response. Send message. How can I move this one here? Hmm. In yesterday only I have explained. Manipulate. No, for manipulate it will move. Okay. I want to use constraint. What type of constraint I have to use so that it will move directly from here to here. Look, because for this line, it's already constrained, okay? But I want to this one, a little bit rotate in angle and let it here.
no one. Verse number 328. Look, you have to coincident this. <clears throat> piston to here is the cylinder okay wait Now go for coincidence. This one. Look, if you have hide it anything, okay, you have to just go for this one. Swap visible space. This one. Single one. For the double. Okay. Look, I'm creating the for the second cylinder. Click. Now. Update. No. Replace perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Now for the next. This one first rotate, then apply coincidence. Okay. Because if you directly apply here coincidence, it will like it will come reverse. Okay. So click manipulation. Where is the coincidence? Yeah, in the top. Okay. Now press OK. This one. Now again. Okay, now select create directly DMU or after completion and remaining one, two, three, four cylinder and create DMU. Hmm? We'll directly go for DMU here or else we'll DMU. One by one we'll create. Huh? Okay, now look. Start again, go for the digital markup. DMA kinematics. Okay. Whatever you have done, same thing you have to repeat here. Okay. But the mechanism must be same. Okay. You have to just apply the joints. Okay. So first hide this one. Cater. Now which type of joint you have not here? Here's the total like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Total 16 type of joints are available. Okay. So, what type of joints you have applied here? You have to apply here. Revolute, correct. 
Okay. Click here, Revlet join. Now, <clears throat> this one. Okay. This face and this. Okay. Then. There is some offsets are there, okay, value. If you directly select a null upset means it will directly come and coincide with it, okay? But I want to keep it there offset. So click it, offset. Look, angle driven. Then I have to give you angle driven or not? I told you for the driven means for rotation directly. If, um, if you haven't given any driven angle or land, most probably two types, okay? Which means it will, the rotation of movement depends on the others, not from here, okay? So I wanna ask you here, do I have to click it in the angle driven or not? No. What's the revenue? One second, tell what's what is angle driven? Okay. I'll again explain. Do it. Okay, after complete completion this one, I'll explain, okay. Anything else? Sorry, anyone else? Have any doubts here? Okay, look, you don't have to click your angle depend. Why? Because look, it's already depends upon this crank set, okay? And crank set for the rotation we are already given. So just leave it like this. Press OK. Now this one is created. Self rotation. No need for extra angle. What is this one? What does it mean by extra angle? What's your doubt? Type it in properly, okay? Now. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's correct. Now. Here in the top also you have to apply. Revolute, okay. Okay, offset, okay.
no. Now, whatever joints you have to apply between the cylinder and piston. Look, I have applied between these two revolute joint. Okay, Be between the spin and connecting rod, connecting rod, revolute joint. Okay, again, what you have to apply between this piston and this cylinder. Yeah, cylindrical joints, okay? Now, to go for cylindrical joint, the third one. Now select the axis. Now go for, which one? Second one. Okay, mechanism can be simulated. So, but we need to apply a revolute joint at piston. So I, I have already applied. No, no. Like uh, previously, I have applied like a rigid between piston and piston pin. In the starting, no. Whenever I created this piston and piston pin, okay, I have already applied coincidence. That's why. No need to apply anything because this both are already assembled. Once your pin is moved, means based on by default it will move. Okay, that's the reason behind having apply in it. The piston and piston pin and uh, connecting rod. Okay, I think you are able to see the difference here. Look, this one looks different. This one looks different. Okay, one is only parts on its assembly. Okay, that's the difference between these two. One is main assembly. Okay, here there's a sub parts. Okay, and then this one is a sub assembly, not directly parts. That's why if you apply anything to your assembly, okay, then it will be affect the remaining all other things. Okay, look, like if your own assembly is moving, let's say, okay, means sub assembly by default, whatever the parts inside that assembly it will also move. Based upon this, okay. That's why no need to apply any joints or connection between this. By default, I have applied in the previously the result means fix. Okay. Now for the next. Okay. Also again, revolute. Okay, take up set. Now, so we have joint.
now again add this thing apply between these two table okay now offset okay is that clear Okay, now go for mechanism, mechanism on. Insert, select the loop, then there is time. Okay. For the second one. I think now it's clear huh? how to create a joints and connection here. I don't have any doubts. I think, I think you'll able to create the remaining thing. Okay. So let's skip the remaining. Okay, I'll skip the remaining thing. Okay. Means the remaining one, two, three, four cylinders. Okay. You have to create by yourself. The, look, just repeat the process, okay? I think one person is having doubt on angle driven. Anything else related to DM? Anyone? In similar thing, what is the command one? This one, revolute joint. So how to make instances and constraint? The first one. Between this two, we have applied crank sub and cylinder. It's your command one, okay? How to add mechanism, two mechanism. 
look, both are, <coughs> let's say, this is one type of mechanism, okay? If you want another one, okay? Look, in the assembly, there's a lot of type of mechanism level, okay? Let's say, mm, okay, wait. I think factory flow, I think everybody knows how the how the goods are moving in the belt. Okay. Now this one moving is called what? This one. Translate. Okay. Now if you have another option where where this one like uh, goods is moving in the top down up and down means in circular type let's say okay in such a scenario you can create separate mechanism okay wait i'll delete let's say This is one mechanism, okay? Now again, go and... Okay, I'll create the separate, okay? This is a lot of files out there. Now let's say, sorry, start mechanical assembly. Insert new part. Okay, now fifty. Okay, let's make the cell Toolbox, restore all content. Let's say five. Okay, one part. Insert new part here. Okay. 
okay Now between these two, apply symmetry. Okay. Now just pair. This is thirty. Okay, now okay. <clears throat> let's say Okay, now do one thing. This one, this line, and this bottom line. Coincide. And this one, this one. Okay. Now, I want this one move like this. Okay, what you have to apply here? Anyone? Go for this mock-up, DMA kinematics. Okay, I want this one must be slide here. So which type of tools I have to use, like uh, joints? Prismatic, correct. Now go for what you have to do first here. First thing before applying joints. Okay, first go for fix new mechanism. Let's give it mechanism all. Okay, fix the base. Okay, now apply prismatic line one, line one, right, line two. Okay, now. This is phase one. Lateral driven. Okay. Now. Let's say 
of 100 to 2 minus Minus twenty is more. Okay. Make it eighty five. <coughs> okay. Now close. Now look. This is mechanism one. Okay. But you need another mechanism. This one must be move up and down. Okay. So in such scenario, what you have to do? Just go for assembly. Copy. Yes. Okay, now move the second one outside. Okay, the first one just hide it. Now, Coincidence, the, this line, this line. Okay, now go for this mock up DMA kinematics. Okay, now here again. Create new mechanism. Flex this one. Again, revolute. Look, mechanism one, mechanism two. Line one. All right. Face one. Okay, now we are having two mechanisms. Okay, now here you have to choose which one you want to play mechanism one, two. Let's say mechanism two. Zero ten close now mechanism two play insert continuous loop. Okay, how to play both at a time. Look for this, uh, it's required advanced level. You have to write like programming something like this. You can't create both at a time. For, for the normal like use, okay. Anything else? Shall we go for the next?
Taiwan Assembly can you please tell me how to apply mechanism you can send mail okay oh only for is it related to then how to not impose so you have both translation revolution Look, for both translation revolute, it is called cylindrical joints. Look. Okay, angle driven, length driven. For rotation is angle driven. For Insert new part. Okay. Let's. Keep it twenty forty hundred twenty at which okay, insert new part. This one. And zero. Oh, it's already. Take care. Circle. Entire forty. Okay, for the groove, we can create it yourself. Okay, I'm roughly creating. Okay, now, so far, this is a mock up DMF analytics. Specs. Change the color here. Okay, now look zero to minus fifty four. Zero to minus fifty four.
okay close go for this simulation mechanism play then insert Is that clear now? Okay. Now next we'll go for gear. Okay. Anyone have anything else? Any doubts? Which one? Three double one. What's your job? Rotation. Means for this team or previous one? Rotation mechanism. I think nobody have any doubts for creating this model. Okay, just delete the mechanism. Okay, nothing is created yet. Okay, now first fix new mechanism. Okay, perfect. The part here. Okay, <clears throat> now go for cylindrical joints. Okay, because I need here both rotation as well as translate. Okay, this one, then the side. Okay, let's say give only angle driven. Okay. <clears throat> You have to give both in order to cross. Okay. Wait. Just delete this joint. Okay. For only rotation. Okay. Just go for. Revolute the success. This one with the face. Face. Okay. Now offset angle driven. Okay. Now let's. Okay, if you want only rotation, you can go for revolute. If you want only translation, you can go for prismatic. But if you want both at a time, then you can go for cylindrical joints. Okay, just delete. Let's go for cylindrical. Let's for the cylindrical joint, only axis is required. Let's both angle driven, length driven. Okay. Look, whenever look, I have created same thing in the engine, but I haven't given any angle driven length because already 
the dimension is because it's already depends upon the previous one already depends upon the other things that's why but here only these two parts are there that's why you have to apply both angle and length is that clear now three double one Now, now we will go for the gears. Okay. Look, we are having lot of types of gears. Okay. Now this is helical knot. This is warm gear for helical. That's all. Okay, we'll design now this one. We'll design this for gear, okay? I think everybody knows about it. Now I'll show the different 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 parts. Okay, the helical gear, this one, normal spore gear, but we'll design this one. Okay, now, now this one next one is internal thread gear. Now next is again another one internal. Next one is you can use a rack and pin in here. Step. Okay. Yeah, rack. Then the last one is warm gear. Already I have opened this one. Okay. Now. I think everybody knows about what is this one. What is this? Hmm? What is the name of this drawing? Correct. Gear nomenclature, gear profile. Yeah. Now look. How the gear is looks like okay and the top is a random circle middle one pitch okay then lower one a random circle and clearance to thickness okay width space okay now this thing will design okay now before start you're designing let's move the windows up from the shared application.
then how many of you knows the use of this one f of x formula how many of you knows our formula use of formula and parameters in the catia Hmm. Messages. Any reply from your side? How many of you know the formula and parameters? Okay. What is parameters? Can anyone tell? Is there? What is parameter? Parameters, yeah, yeah. It's relations, okay. Parameters means let's say if we want to use something, okay. Let's say height, okay. If we're given height of a model, okay, somewhere inside this uh, drawings or anywhere, okay. If you want to edit that one, okay. So what you have to do? Just go inside and check and change, okay. That's a lot of time taking. Okay, so if you create that thing using parameters, okay, if you change that bar parameter by default, your drawing will be changed. That's the reason behind creating a parameter. No, I mean, uh, is my Catia screen is visible to everyone? What's the remaining? Three not six. Now. Okay, for creating parameter, okay, you have to use this one f of x function or formula. You can call it. Okay, let's click here now. This one by default it is created. Okay, now here we are having. Types of parameters. What are the types? Okay, most probably we'll use the real, integer, string, boolean, length, angle, and times. Ninety percent cases. Okay. Now, what is the real meaning of real? Means directly well name or something like this. Okay. Integer means one, two, three, four, five, six. This one. String. Means, means string means. Let's say if you have to choose the drawing one or drawing two, like this type of situation. Okay, boolean means true, false. Length means value. Leave it those things right now. Okay. So first, now, let in the creating a gear. Okay. This things you have to take consideration. Okay, calculation for the like a degree. Okay, number of teeth, module, fish circle, Kirana circle, Adenum circle, and Adenum circle. Okay, so
okay sorry about that for the real means like 1 2 3 4 okay real value okay now start let's start real okay single value new parameter okay yeah and means number of pitch let's give your 25 okay save next give length and type it m what does it mean by m can anyone can said m means module okay here the value is given 3.5 look by default it is taking mm okay because in the setting we are given mm value now another parameter pitch circle radius r p okay now look now next is <clears throat> what is the formula of pitch circle radius Can anybody reply? Formula of pitch circle radius. Yeah, correct. M divided by n by two. M into n divided by two. Select. Okay, select here. Then click Add Formula. Rename M into N divided by two. now the next is r b r b means clearance circle okay radius and the formula is 0.94 into r p okay now again select add formula 0.94 into rp okay now again new parameter now name it as a r a Random circle radius. R A formula. R P plus M. the next is r d random circle r 
डी ये फॉर्मूला एज अ फॉर्मूला ऑफ आर डी फॉर्मूला फॉर आर डी या करेक्ट नो आर पी माइनस वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू एम ओके आर पी माइनस वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू एम ओके ना नेक्स्ट इज How many have created? One, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's enough. Okay, apply. Okay. Now, look. <clears throat> What is called this one? This is called specific extent for you. Okay, here. Whatever the formula you have added, or whatever the parameter you created, nothing appeared here. Okay, in such scenario, you what you have to do? Go for tool, option, Go for infrastructure. Part infrastructure. Display and train parameter relation. Okay. Now look. So whatever you create, N, M, R, P, R, B, R, A, R, D. Okay. Now select a profile. Go for two D. Now create circle. Okay. Now look whatever the dimension is given here. Okay. You have to change according to your equation. Whatever the value is given here. Okay. For this, first of all, convert into radius okay then right click added formula and make it rename all parameter click r p That's okay. Now same thing here. Radius. Rename parameter. R P. That's okay. Now, for this angle purpose, okay. Create an axis.
We can just so before that create here another one. Okay. Now, between this to apply, just give me a minute to add that, okay. Now give it twenty degree and the spawn back vertical. Now between this two days, two. Okay, double click, right click, add it formula. What's the formula of this angle? Formula is ninety divided by N. Now, after now, any doubts? No, okay. Now go for circle. Now, 
convert this two into reference. Create. One is RF here, another one. Then we have RF. Now, next is the stream, everything. Before that, two one hide this two. Now, go for corner. What's the formula? What's the formula of this fillets? Can anyone? Three twenty eight R B. No, I'm asking the formula of this fillets. The formula is what zero point three nine zero point three nine into M. Okay. Now, what next? Select this one, this one, this one. 
Mấy đây Ok Now This one Go insert Like this Ok Exit Back Okay, let's say ten. Now, what next I have to do here? Use circular pattern here, okay? Where is the pattern? Insert transformation feature, circular pattern, reference, you can take this one. Z. Okay, now go for complete crown instances, right click, edit formula, rename, and okay, that's okay. Okay, now what next? Select your profile, go for 2D. Okay, create your one circle. How much? That it. Let's put dedendum circle minus three mm. Not three. Minus, let's say. Okay. Or else we can put it as a whatever the data in the circle minus divided by two. Okay. That's it. Pocket, there was a direction. Okay, is that clear? Now,
let's say I want again this one, okay? Copy. Okay. Paste. Okay. Now, let's hide this top one. Let's go for this second one. Okay, here. Uh, let's change. M 3.52, four. And 20. Look. What is then? Ten. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Is that clear? Oh, previous one was changed. Right? Any doubts? Okay, for that uh, rotation, okay. Let's do it. Now, let's go for this to mock up. DMA kinematics. Okay. 
fix fix this base. Okay. Now, what type of joints I have to apply between these two? Anyone? Revolute. Okay, first apply revolute between this two and this two. Okay. After this, apply gear joint. Okay. Now let's say revolute. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. Put it as a two and Let's give offset minus five. Okay. Angle prevent. Okay. Same thing repeat here. Okay. Offset. Minus five. No. Okay. Now here, go for this gear joint. Okay. Select the revolute wall. Select the revolute two. Okay. Angle driven for the revolute two one. Then press okay. Okay. Now. Opposite. Now. Okay, insert. Continuous loop. That's okay. This is how I can give you a DMA kinematics of your gears. Here constraint. First of all, I've created two revolutes here. Okay, revolute one and revolute two. Okay, now go for the gear. Look, revolute joint one, revolute joint two. Okay, can directly clear it here. Okay, now the next is resue. Okay, look, because both are the same dimension, that's why the resue is one, or else 
you have to define here the radius one and radius two. Let's say here it is hided, but uh, you have to choose a RD and this and also RD. This one and this one. Okay. Then by default, the ratio will be calculated here. Okay. Now the next thing is the rotation is same same or opposite. Okay. Here I'm choosing the opposite one. Let's say okay. Now angle driven rivulet one or rivulet two. Which one you want to drive? Rivulet one or rivulet two? Okay. Look, let's say I'm given a rivulet one. Okay. Let's say these two are connected to another gear. Okay. In such scenario, no need to give anything. Okay. By default, based upon this one, it will move. Is that clear now? Now, any doubts? Anything you want to ask, you can ask. Do you have any doubts in Katia right now? Starting class, talk to this. I want assembly. Can you tell me how to apply mechanism for that? In my mail. You're from which college? Three not nine. Yeah, I've sent it. Anyone else have any doubts? How to apply mechanism for that assembly? Which assembly? Yeah, I have sent you the mail. I have given you my mail ID. You can send me a file. Okay. Look, you have to send the total file. Let's say okay, here the engine partner. You have to send total all, including this CAD product. Okay. If said only CAD product, it will not work. Okay. Including all parts you have to send for that assembly. So today is the uh, tomorrow last two days we'll do the assembly part okay using Simpac software. If there are any doubts in Katia, you can ask. Here, the all means all the parts in assembly, assembly files, okay? Uh, Rakesh. Yeah. 
I hope uh, no more doubts from the students. Yeah. Okay. Shall we wind up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Rakesh, and uh, thank you, yeah. Shipa. Thank you all. Thank you, Abhilash. Mm -hmm. Bye.